What's up, guys? Saying hello to you from uh, Montana. I just delivered a load out here. That video will come out soon. But I'm going to be driving through a really cool area, real pretty, lots of nature, and it's fall. And I just couldn't resist. Um, I just wanted to do, you know, capture a few things and show you guys what Montana looks like in the fall. Um, I mean, it's going to look a little more beautiful in a week or two once it gets fully cold and the leaves all turn different colors. But it's just awesome looking out here. I'm taking care of a personal matter over here, helping somebody out, so um, delivered my load this morning, and today I'm out and about, you know, searching for something and uh, and helping somebody else out, so I'm not going to be talking about work, most likely, or not work that, you know, that, that I'm on right now, I'm not, I'm on, I'm on kind of a pleasure slash helping somebody out type of type of business right now but look at all these mountains here Montana is just something else the nature out here you guys will see we're going to get to a better area this is just kind of the beginning of it I'll show you guys you guys will like it if I didn't have to do all this stuff I would have brought my uh, my pole with me, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring it next time. So I've got a load that I'm gonna be doing every single week. It's gonna be from Seattle area, well, south of Olympia area, Olympia, Washington area, going to Kalispell, Montana. And then it loads every Monday in the evening and it delivers next morning to Montana. So all night driving, um, don't get to see much except for all the deer and deer, 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 deer and elk at night. But driving back home is where all the beautifulness is. And I'll be capturing some of that in the next videos. I'm gonna be grabbing my pole with me, maybe doing a little bit of fishing here and there, trying some things out. is going to be just all about the nature and what Montana looks like. And then we'll get into some plains like this. I know my windshield is super clean. changes of the scenery once you know every couple miles is just awesome out here in Montana you know you look to the left you look to the right absolutely beautiful here's the river and I'm going to be coming through along the river the whole time pretty much super pretty out here there's just nothing nothing bad you can say around here except for you know winter time driving that can get brutal I've done a lot of that already through here it gets nasty sometimes you just got to give yourself time and patience and just enjoy it you know can't be in the hurry in the winter time through Montana When you're driving through Montana in the winter time, guys, you just gotta be a problem solver. That's how you have to look at yourself, as a problem solver. I know I said I'm not gonna talk about work while I'm, you know, showing some scenery, but, you know, if it wasn't for the work, then I would never be here. I would never know about these spots, and I wouldn't know anything. Oh my. My gramps had a motorcycle like that with a side cart back in the old USSR. Oh yes, I just 
saw that and that's good memories. Um, what I was saying is this kind of scenery, you'll see it on the couch at home maybe, but it's not the same as in real life at all. And what other kind of job could you have where you can make really good money with no education and be able to see this kind of stuff outside your window plus if you want to after your delivery or in between your loads as long as you're not on the load on an active load you guys can go camping somewhere you guys can go take a day or two off exploring somewhere you know day off week off whatever whatever you guys need to do after your delivery you have the freedom because you're in control of when you want to work and when you don't want to work obviously I'm only talking about the part where you're not on the load if you're on an active load you got it in the back of your van your primary job is to deliver that thing and then you can go screw around you can go visiting whatever you got to do but you know look at this awesome looking out here so there's no other job that with minimal investments I mean yes there's risks yes you got to drive at night um, yes there's a lot of direct deliveries to where you know you have to pull it off um, so on and so forth but you know that's any job that's any job there's always investments there's always risks yeah you're away from your family when you're doing this yes you drive at night yes for some people it's tough but for the most part you guys can take time off anytime you want because you are your own boss per se however you want to say it Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful out here. And the beautifulness just keeps on going. got off on a turn away and then uh, there's a bunch of cars up there I'm just going towards the water I want to touch and feel that water see how clean it is people are fishing down here having fun <clears throat> too bad I'm kind of in a hurry I gotta make it there and make it back home still so how clean Montana water is for you guys. Not gonna be seeing this in any factory you're working in or a store. There's nothing like it, guys. Seriously. 
You just gotta come on, come and jump on that money, Eagle Express money train. And you guys could be a part of this too. Could take it in as well. Not just me, there's more, there's room for everybody here. I don't know if these people, that's their little vacation home over there. Or if it's somewhere they live permanently. But you know, beautiful, right along the river. You know, you got mountains on this side, mountains on this side. Super cool. I'm telling you guys, this is an awesome area. Really pretty drive. Really pretty. There's not too many of the places that's changed the scenery and look like this. So many turnaways, so many places you guys can pull over and take it all in. that I ended up coming through this way and can actually show this to you guys. Because otherwise you'd never see it. I wouldn't even know this, this place exists. That way, just a few miles down the road is a pretty good hot springs resort. I think it's called Quinn's. I believe that's what the name of it is, Quinn's Hot Springs Resort. Really cool, along the river as well. They have cabins and everything. I've showed it in some of my other videos, so you guys can take a look. If you're passing through here, driving through Montana on a load, and you guys have time, take that St. Regis exit, I think it's 35, exit 35 or 34 in Montana, and just drive down there and go to the hot springs. You guys don't have to rent a cabin or a room, you can just go for the day or for the hour, or for a couple hours, whatever it is, you know. They always have room there. They got restaurants and everything, if you wanna stay the night, you can stay the night in your van, or you can go rent a place if they have room. Super cool. On this note, I'm gonna end it. Just give you guys a little tease, a little quick, quick little tease about it. You guys see that? Water, I saw a lot of people fill up their water bottles and stuff with that water. So, they have those fresh spring creeks throughout Montana and a lot of different places as well. But once again, thanks guys for watching. If you do want to join Eagle Express team, as always, I'll leave the email address in the description. Shoot an email, we'll get you guys out this, the application and you guys can become part of the family. Look at that. It just never ends here. It's a never, never ending, beautiful nature. I love it out here every time I come out. So thanks again for watching. God bless. You guys take care. And I'll throw this video out before I do the other the other one because I still have a couple couple ahead of that Montana one. But this one will come out first just because it's simple and easy and I did it on my phone. So versus the camera, you got to pull the footage, uh, edit it, and so on and so forth. All that takes a lot of time. So this one's coming out today, guys. This one's coming out fresh. It'll be out probably in about an hour and a half as soon as I'm done filming here. <laughs>